Hey everyone, voiceover zap maniac here because my camera decided to record horrible audio for some reason. Anyway, today we'll be checking out not one, not two, but three vintage baby Annabelle outfits. And of course to do that we'll need not one, not two, but three baby Annabelle dolls. So without further ado, let's get right into it. This assortment of outfits was released in 2004. At the time, Baby Annabelle version 2, released in 2002, was the latest version. In this particular assortment, there were four outfits. Unfortunately, by the time I found these ones for sale, the fourth one had already been sold. Here's what the back of each box looks like. Because I purchased these outfits from the USA, there's a shorter list of languages on the back, as well the contact information is for Zup's now defunct US branch. The first outfit we'll look at is this pretty white dress with bloomers. The dress has a sweet floral pattern with a lovely flower embellishment on the front that looks just like one of the tiny flowers on the fabric. Here's what the box insert looks like. The bloomers included with this outfit are simple, practical white bloomers. You can never have too many of these. Here's the front and the back of the dress. And here's the outfit on Baby Annabelle. For me, that flower is the most impressive part of this outfit. There are so many different materials and techniques that come together to make it. Embroidery, jersey fabric, felt, and a ribbon ruffle, which requires three times the ribbon you see here to make. At the bottom of the dress are two bows, which are not just embellishments like I initially thought, but were actually made by incorporating ties into the structure of the dress, which were then fastened into bows. So many amazing details on this one, I love it. Up next, let's take a look at this cute three-piece set with a t-shirt, overshirt, and bloomers. Of these three outfits, this is probably the one I would have picked if I could only have one. So let's see if it's just as good as I'm expecting. Randomly found a little piece of polyester fiber while I was unboxing. Just thought it was interesting. On the front of the overshirt, we see some cute appliques and also an embroidered butterfly embellishment. Along the bottom is a playful pink ruffle. The overshirt fastens with Velcro at the shoulders. To wear underneath, there's a pair of white bloomers and a white t-shirt with pink stitching around the cuffs. Both very lovely pieces in their own right. And here's the complete outfit. Not much else to say for this one. It's just cute and fun. By the way, unintentionally, I picked my Zup Creation cup and saucer to drink tea out of in between takes, because of course I have that. Finally, we have this very interesting outfit that is like a dress with shorts, or like a oversized shirt with shorts? I don't know, it's weird. This dress, unlike the other two we saw, is a more structured polyester instead of soft cotton. There are four plastic snaps on the front, and around the cuffs of the sleeves and bottom of the dress there are sheep and flower appliques. The shorts and collar share the same fabric, which is like cotton that feels like linen. It's really interesting. Also interesting is the fact that the Baby Annabelle logo patch is on the shorts instead of the dress. Perhaps the strangest thing about this outfit is how it fastens. If you guessed it had anything to do with those four snaps, you'd be wrong. Instead, there's Velcro around the collar of all places. One strip here, and another strip that's tucked away under this part of the collar. Really unique design, I've never seen anything like it. And here's the outfit on Baby Annabelle. Honestly, this outfit surprised me the most out of all of them. I thought it was gonna be like, awful, but it's actually pretty good. I really like the collar design, and overall it's just a super unique outfit. I really hope you enjoyed this look at these three vintage Baby Annabelle outfits. I'm super grateful for the opportunity I had to unbox and share them all with you. Each one is just so saturated with gorgeous details. They just, <laughs> they just make me so happy to look at, and they fit beautifully into Baby Annabelle's world. Really, there are just no dolls, uh, no toys for that matter, that compare to this early 2000s era of Zup. 
Be sure to let me know which of these outfits is your favorite in the comments down below, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube so you don't miss any future unboxings or other fun videos with my Zuff Creation collection. I'm most active on Instagram, so be sure you're following me on there too. Thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day.